Hi everyone, Sahil from Cooknode here. In the last video, we discussed the differences between RPC and GraphQL API. In this video, we are going to talk about RPC and GraphQL API again, but specifically in terms of Quicknode. So without any ado, let's jump into it. So let's understand this as well with the help of an analogy. So let's say you want to make a marketplace platform and that marketplace platform displays ERC20 token and NFTs. So you would need ERC20 data and NFT data. So with QuickNotes RPC API, you would have to make one single call to the QuickNotes token API to get the ERC20 data. And you'll have to make another call to QuickNotes NFT API to get the NFT token metadata. With QuickNotes RPC API, you could only get token metadata and NFT metadata. But with QuickNotes GraphQL API or Graph API, you can get NFT data and ERC20 data all in one single call. And apart from the general metadata, you can also get marketplaces metadata like OpenSea's metadata. You can also get historical analytical data with the QuickNote Graph API. Let's try to list down that differences now. The QuickNote RPC API has API key, JWT, IP address and referer whitelisting has domain masking for security and authentication purposes. The GraphQL API right now just has the API key. With QuickNotes RPC API, the structure of different different calls is usually the same. The parameters changes. But with QuickNotes GraphQL API, the structure to get different kind of data, the querying structure to get the different kind of data changes and varies. With QuickNotes RPC API, you can get token data, NFT data, and NFT events like transfers. With QuickNotes GraphQL API, you can get token data, NFT data, mm -hmm. NFT events like transfer, mint, burn, swap. With QuickNotes RPC API, you can get NFT images just in one size, which is their original size. You can only get the images stored on the decentralized storages. But with QuickNotes Graph API, you can get images in multiple sizes. Additional features of RPC API is that it can be used to send transactions. It can be used to send write queries to the blockchain. But as of right now, you can only do read queries using the Graph API. With QuickNotes RPC API, you can make standard blockchain RPC calls. With QuickNotes GraphQL API, you can only make the calls to the data schema, which is defined on the server side. Some additional features of QuickNote Graph API are, you can query ENS data, you can get marketplace metadata and order history, you can get open, high, low, close, and volume history of NFTs. Don't get me wrong, RPC API or GraphQL API, none of them is like uh, in competition with each other. Both has their own use cases. QuickNotes RPC API is still the most performant and fastest API in the market. So based on your use case, either of those APIs may be useful to you. So to get access to these APIs, create an account on quicknote.com from the link in the description. If you like the video, like this video, subscribe to the QuickNote YouTube channel and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming tutorials. Thank you everyone.